What up, YouTube? Yeah, you know who it is. You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shake. It's Sunday, so welcome to the welcome top to the 10 top lobs, 10 of, the lobs of the week. At number 10 from The Real. Can't pronounce the rest of his name, but I can rate this dunk. A nice high oop off the top to Rudy Gay off the glass. At number 9 from my man Monte Mars. Look at this combo oop. I like plays like this. He does a nice spin move. Then he throws the oop over his shoulder. Jamming it home. At number eight. We got my man Ethan Myers. Does a self oop from one side of the backboard. Catches it on the other. Finishes with the right hand. This is hot. He throws it with it left hand. Catches it right handed and jams it home. At number seven. From Sanan Odabash. Getting pretty used to seeing this guy in the top 10. Look at this nice lob to a 360, two-handed alley-oop. I like this. That's hot. At number six, from Dylan. This play takes a little while to develop. He's got Cambridge coming down. He sees Rudy Gay for a long 89 on a dunk intensity, 360 alley-oop. And this lob came from, I think it came from beyond the three-point line. We're going to go ahead and slow this down and catch this in several different angles. That's just hot right there. Coming at you at number five from the Association. The oop from Derrick Rose to the reverse 360 oop. Catches it with one hand, his right hand, and finishes it with his left this will probably be the last time you see this oop in the top 10. And number four. Coming to you from crossover 323. Look at this catch. Reverse windmill from Dwight Howard. I don't even know what to call this. It's like some sort of a. He catches it, a windmill clutch, and then jams it. That's just amazing. For them to put this into the game, I saw this in the, in the previous top 10, but this is just a much better angle, better quality. This is beautiful. If I have to find, if I can find out what dunk package gives me the ability to do this dunk. Wow. wow, wow. Only Dwight Howard. <laughs> nice little poster at the end. And number three. From root beer fan number nine, tosses it almost straight up into the air, and look who it is. Westbrook catching it and dunking over the defense. Let's see this one more time. Throws it straight up, making it very easy for Westbrook to catch it and punishing the defense, flying over their heads. At number two. This one speaks for itself. From Ronnie Stennis. Throws it off the glass. And look at the stretch Armstrong over Nick Young. Oh my God. I told you I hate seeing clips with players destroying the team that I play for in my career mode. But this is hilarious. Is that the? This is not the first or the last time we'll see Nick Young getting dunked over in the top 10 plays of the week. But at number one. Perhaps one of the greatest plays in the entire top 10 series. An oop from out of bounds over Westbrook's head with the windmill. Oh my lord. This is from Bull Yates. When he sent me this clip, I mean, he didn't even have to say anything. He should have just said, shake, number one play. Done. <laughs> I mean... I've had this play for a little while, been trying to get it into a, to the right series. I think I found the perfect series. There will never be a better oop from out of bounds than this. Will there? So Bull Yates gets the play of the week. It's your boy Shake. I'll let you do later.
Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm John Huertas. Boss Rutten. And we're here for the semifinals of Injustice Battle Arena. Kong, 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 kong. Superman <clears throat> versus Green Lantern. Super. Let me just say one thing. Green Lantern, very close to Kryptonite, right? He can probably make it out of atmosphere. He can make Kryptonite, boom, over. Just plant a little piece, whatever. And you know, t- takes open his little uh, uh, speedos and he bloop, drops it in there. That's it. He goes, oh, I don't feel so you're saying So you're saying Green Lantern over Superman? Well, if you can make Kryptonite, I think that will be it. That's his only you're, Kryptonite, right? You're saying Green Lantern <laughs> over the world's most uh, infamous superhero, you know, Superman. Always when they ask me, who do you want to be if you would be a superhero? I always say Superman. Because, I mean, you he can sit on the sun. He can sit on the sun. Green Lantern. Green Lantern can't mess with that. If Superman can sit on the sun, Green Lantern can't mess with yeah, that. I say Superman. That's true. That's true. Super- he needs to heads up a little bit. Because if they know they're going to fight, it's a heads up. He already has kryptonite ready. You know, those are all the components of kryptonite. But I, yeah, I don't know if he could create kryptonite, though. I mean. I know. But you know, he's got all his buddies up there. He says, go fight me some kryptonite, boys. And all these 3,600 guys. By the psh- time those little homies go and try to find that kryptonite, Superman's already dropped yeah, a he's super combination mm-hmm. on Green Lantern and, and knocked him out. And, yeah. and then Prepare broke yourselves back. for the most powerful matchup yet in the Injustice Battle Arena. Does the Green Lantern have what it takes to bring down Superman? Let's find out. Fully charged. ends now. Advancing to the final fight is Superman. Well, that's it. We now have our final two champions that will face off in two weeks during our final round. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here for the fight of the century.